<laughs> All right, folks. Well, the time has come. It's the main event, man. This is a fight that has been years in the making, man. So let's just say this fight originally was supposed to take place in 2019. It was on February 9th of 2019 specifically, but Robert Whitaker, he had to pull out due to a hernia. Now, two years later, almost, you know, on the dot, a couple months, you know, extra, right? But we get Robert Whitaker, Bobby Knuckles facing off against Kelvin Gastelum, right? This is a great matchup. This is a great matchup because if everything goes accordingly, this is a kickboxing match to me. Take MMA out of it. This is a, if everything goes accordingly, right? Like if in my mind, if like what I want to see goes yeah kickboxing match however we know that this is mixed martial arts and we know that you got to use you know it's the art of eight limbs plus the wrestling press the sprawling press this listen man um let me just ask you this man do you think it's fair because i think the overt opinion i don't have it in front of me right now and i don't even really want to check i just want to ponder um do you think that it's a little unfair aj that kelvin gastelum seems to be just like widely discounted in this in this matchup, you know what I mean? Everybody who I talk to, I do a little poll. Who do you think is going to win? Just Whitaker, 100%. That, Whitaker, Whitaker all day. And I'm just like, dude, I like, you know, Bobby Knuckles too. He's a big name and that's part of it. And we've seen what he could do against the Yoel Romero's. We've seen what he can do against, you know what I mean, the Darren Tills of the world or, or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, Kelvin Gaslam is a savage, man. And you see, oh, he was just on a three-fight losing streak. You know what I mean? Like, oh, uh, you know, he only picked up one win. Well, let's look at those last three. Jack Hermanson, that was just a first round heel hook that was so everyone said that was just a weird performance right um then darren till split decision super close fight and then israel adesanya another really close fight so it's like dude that's a killer's row once again in terms of your losing streak and uh i just think that we got to put some respect on his name i've been a big fan of kelvin gaslam for years man like for years and it's finally like it's nice to see that he's finally getting some of that shine but once again big underdog in this one um let me see what the actual line is the line that we got here is uh Minus 270 favor for Robert Whitaker, plus 220 for Kelvin Gastelum, man. I want to start off with Kelvin Gastelum. I think that on the feet, this is almost an even fight on the feet, right? Because what Robert Kerr, what Robert, Kerr, what Robert Whitaker um, has in those quick snappy punches, right? You know what I mean? Everything he does is kind of tight and just whap, whap, you know what I mean? Bring it back quick. Kelvin Gastelum has timing. So what do we say, right? AJ, I don't want to butcher it, but I'm probably going to butcher it. Uh, timing beats speed and precision beats power. Is that right? Got Come it. on. There we go, right? So, yeah, give me the take on Kelvin Gastelum, man. How do you think he fares out on the feet? I personally think this is even on the feet, but not everyone agrees with me on that take. So what do you think? No, I'm with you, my man. I think this is very even on the feet. And to be honest, I think you can copy and paste both fighters into each other's forms, and they'll do very well. I mean, a, apples to apples and oranges to oranges, man. Punches to punches and kicks to kicks. These guys stack up very well. So I could easily see it being a stand-up match the entire time just because their ground game nullifies each other and their, and their striking nullifies each other. So where do you end up when you already started standing? You just stay standing. Um, now, Kelvin Gassel, man, he may not be my favorite fighter in the 185 division, but, boy, this dude's a dog. Like, yeah. no shit. I don't like I, – I, I'd say Kelvin Gassel, top five, maybe, favorite fighters. He's, he's a little too ground game oriented for me, but no way in hell would I ever want to stand against this man in a ring. This dude can fight, and he's not going to be put away easy. You know, this is going to be a hard night, man. And I think, I think personally, this fight comes down to who's the bigger dog. You know, it's, it's, they're going to be fighting. It's going to be bloody. If um, what was the fight before? If uh, Jeremy Stevens Jakar Close isn't the fight of the night, yeah. this one hell of is because man, this is going to be a scrap. Now, Kelvin Kelvin Gassum on the feet. I think he is a little slower. A little undersized, maybe we'll see when they stand up. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, Robert Woodford is six foot, Kelvin Gaston's five nine. So you know, it's it's there's a, there's a height advantage for sure, but and and a speed advantage with Bobby Knuckles. Um, the thing is, man, I don't I don't know. The, when, when I was breaking this one down, I gave the advantage person a little bit more in, in just that aspect, just the dog aspect to Kelvin Gaston because I was watching the easy fights and how they did. When when uh, Calvin Gaston got touched up and hurt. He got mad. He got pissed. He's, he was ready to fight and gave uh, Adesanya arguably his hardest match in quite a long time. Now, Robert Whitaker, he looked a little disheartened, got KO'd. We all saw the big counter knockout. It was, you know, hell of a shot, but he looked a little overwhelmed in that fight is the best yeah. way I can put it. And even when offered the fight again, you heard Dana say, like, nah, he didn't, he didn't want it. And even in the reports, even in the, in the pre-fight presser, Robert Whitaker said he was like, well, that's not true, but he didn't really claim that he did want to fight. He kind of left it up in the air. So to me, that's that's the X factor to me. 
Sure. What, what's your X factor? Well, first, I just got to put some respect on Whitaker's name, man. I just think that, in all honesty, this dude is not scared of anybody. I think that this dude comes to fight, and it's just not expressed in the same way that some others. You know, he doesn't dive into the machismo as much as, you know, some other fighters do, the bravado, right? Um, but nonetheless, man, I do agree with you in the in the take that Kelvin Gastelum might be a bigger dog. And the reason for me is because he's a tweener. You got to be a dog to be a tweener and fight up, you know, instead of fighting down, right? You can go down to welterweight and try to cut and make the weight, or you can say, bro, I'm not cutting that weight. I'll just go up and fight bigger dogs like you know it's all good and that's like for me once one of the reasons why he's one of my favorites right because he's so uh how would you say unassuming right you know like you look at him he, uh, it's like oh, okay this guy who who is this guy right then you also got to look he's 17 and 6 in his mma career 11 and 6 in the ufc all losses in the ufc he grew up in the ufc basically you know what i mean he's got a no contest i think his no contest is against Vizor belfort so like this dude has fought killers after killers after killers his entire career Robert Whitaker is just another killer then we got to do the vice versa right I'll give you my x-factor in one second but the vice versa is that Robert Whitaker last five Jared Cannonier, Darren Till Israel Adesanya for you know the champ and then Yoel Romero twice dude you fight Yoel Romero twice you're not scared of anybody I'm sorry you're not scared of a, a, a person he says Yoel Romero felt like you was hitting metal like you was just punching like a, a fucking truck or some shit you know what I mean so the x-factor for me comes down to this man the wrestling this is truly like the determination of this fight. I think that Robert Whitaker can turn into a wrestler. You know what I mean? I think he could totally turn into a wrestler. I think Kelvin Gastelum can turn into a wrestler. However, the thing I know about Kelvin Gastelum is that if he has success on the feet, he's not going to the ground. That's it. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like once you see, okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to like out touch him like that. Like in an Ian Hynch, I know Ian Hynch wants to wrestle and be crazy and be explosive. All right, we got to take him down. We got to take some of that juice out, right? Robert Whitaker is a little more calm. And the other thing we got to consider is Robert Whitaker does five round fights like it's nobody's business, man. So gas tank is going to be important. Who's going to be able to push harder in that fifth round? Because this is a five round fight. And just the key, right? I got to give credit because I got this from Dan Hardy, even though anybody can go on Tapology and find out themselves. But uh, you just look at the records, man. Robert Whitaker is 3-0 and in five-round fights in his MMA career. Two in the UFC, one outside of the UFC. Kelvin Gastelum is 0-2 in five-round fights. So you know there's got to be a little psychology there. However, um, let's talk about this. Kelvin Gastelum is a southpaw, right? And some people say that doesn't matter. I think it does because the body kick to an orthodox fighter is open and it's right there. Now, does Robert Whitaker say, okay, I eat your body shots, your body kicks, or does he catch a kick, shoot for a takedown, and then try to ground and pound him out, get it back on the feet and just be like that, try to gas him out, make him tired, make him wrestle? Because that could be a big thing, man. I can see Robert Whitaker trying to expose the cardio of Kelvin Gastelum, even though we know Kelvin Gastelum has a good uh, gas tank. You know what I mean? So outside of the wrestling, outside of that body kick, those are the the two big things i think this is very i mean look Robert Whitaker is a little bit bigger, man, but I don't think that one striking is severely outclassing the others. I, I truly don't, man. So if you had if this was purely a kickboxing match and these two these two do excuse me. If this was purely a kickboxing match and Robert Whitaker and Kelvin Gastelum fought 10 times, who do you think would win the most out of either? Like give me like what the number would be out of 10. I'd probably say 8 8 to 2 uh Robert Whitaker. I just think his, his striking is a little more fluid, just a little faster on the jump. He has that very nice jab, man, and he keeps it low so it comes up. So a lot of people, you don't see it coming and it just tags you, you know. Um, but what, I, that's what I would say, man. Eight, 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 eight times out of ten, Robert Whitaker gets the dub. What do you think? I'm with you. I was going to say seven out of ten just because I think Gaslam, man. Gaslam, the one difference here is, let me ask you your opinion on this. I already have mine. Do you think Robert Whitaker has one-shot power? Uh, maybe not one shot power, like a, as like a uh, as a Francis Nagano would, but I think he has one shot timing. He, he okay. knows how to put you out. He knows how to tag you when you're coming in and advancing, you know, on that counter strike. So his timing is there, and if he hits it right, he can. But I don't like not just power where you're touching it just on like the top of the head and putting people to sleep. So it's interesting you say that because I kind of had it the inverse, right? I think that Robert Whitaker. Uh, it's tough. I, I want to say he probably has just like a, a baby bit more power on his shots, but it takes a couple. He has to string a couple together to actually get you out of there. Now, Kelvin Gastelum, I mean, let's just look at it. 17 wins, 12 by knockout, man. Kelvin Gastelum, what I think he lacks in speed and in power, he makes up for in the timing, man. He just times these shots and just dink puts his opponent down. You know what I mean? Now, we got to be honest here. Neither fighter has a knockout in any of their last five fights, right? But I think it's because they're both fighting absolute killers. So, it's you know what I mean? It's not like you're just fighting just scrubs, cans, who you could just put to sleep like that, right? So, um, I think Kelvin Gastelum, the timing is everything, right? I, I always say that, is that you could be super fast, you could be super strong, but Kelvin Gastelum has always had a knack 
uh, of winning, generally speaking, outside of this la this big losing streak that he went on, the three fight losing streak. He has a knack for winning, and he has a knack for just hitting you on that button and putting you to sleep. Now, Robert Whitaker, uh, we've seen him uh, at death's door a couple times in the ring, right against Romero. Hit him, and this dude was on shaky legs, right? You know, trying to trying to figure something out against Adesanya. Same thing. I don't remember if he got hurt against Till, and I know that he ended up breaking Cannoneer's arm throwing a kick, right? So those kicks must be strong. Those are baseball bats going at your arms, going at your head. And that's, I guess, the other key factor. So I'm going to give my last take on this one, AJ. I think the difference is Robert Whitaker, he hits you and brings a shot back quick, right? I think Gaslam hits you and just kind of hangs that shot a little bit and then comes back and, you know, he does this reset. You know, you'll see him in the Southpaw oftentimes where he'll be like in front of you and then he'll be like, okay, you know, and then like get back into his, you know what I mean? Get back into his thing. So maybe Whitaker could catch him in that resetting period. Something like that happened. Give me your final take and then let's do our picks. Yeah, it's, it's funny you noticed that because that's exactly what I was noticing with Calvin Gassum. He gets a little lazy in the extension. Instead of pulling it right back and getting that guard up where Robert Whitaker does exactly that, he gets a little lazy. Now, personally, man, I think this is a, a sit back, buckle up, and get excited because this has potential to be fight of the night. Like I said, man, I think I think both fighters are, are you know, so close to each other that it's almost going to negate, you know, any, any pros or any cons that each other's going to have. Um, I think Robert Whitaker has the advantage in the striking. Don't get me wrong, man. I love Bobby Knuckles. I, if, if, if it was just who I like personally as a fan, I got Bobby Knuckles. You know, I, I think he's, I think it's a savage. I think he's going to do good. But again, this, to me, this comes down to the X's and O's about the dog in the fight because they're so evenly matched. I think it's going to come down to who just stays in the fight just a little bit longer. Like one of our favorites, David Goggins says, all you need is that split second. Once you break him, then you can just slow down, keep on advancing. Um, but personally, because of that, I got Kelvin Gaslam by decision. Who you got? Well, I'm thinking this, AJ, man. I, I, I'm personally thinking that Kelvin Gaslam has a real bitter, real sour taste in his mouth after losing that five-round fight to Israel Adesanya. And after Adesanya has the famous, I'll die in here, you're going to have to kill me to win, I think Gaslam's feeling a type of way, man. He says he used to carry animosity towards Robert Whitaker, but he doesn't anymore. Um, but even with that being said, man, I just think Robert Whitaker has had higher-level opposition. He's had to overcome serious, serious adversity. He's a former champion. People forget about that. Like, he wasn't a champ or something like that so once a champ kind of always a champ really in my book that means you know what it takes to get to that pinnacle and with that being said uh i have do have to know kelvin gaslam has never been knocked out in all of his fights but uh i think we're seeing a decision win robert whitaker and uh i just want to say one last thing before we get out of here gaslam says i think the winner of this gets to fight uh adesanya for the championship i think if your name is robert whitaker yes if your name is kelvin gaslam i, I don't understand how that would work who i would anybody would want to see that fight kelvin gaslam hasn't quite done enough um as of late to like kind of propel himself back up there but that's neither here nor there who am i i, I don't sit here and make championship fights do i even though the ufc give me a call bro come on you know what i'm saying we match making for you over here